folks, in uh, this short little video that uh, we're going to produce here, I want to drill down on a very key aspect of the tax that is broadly misunderstood, but that understanding of which is the, um, the keystone to understanding uh, the nature of the income tax. Uh, so we're going to talk about the fact that the income tax was not initiated in 1913 as the uh, ignorance tax scam uh, aficionados would like everyone to believe. Instead, it actually began in 1862 as every authority on the planet has always made clear to anyone who bothers to look. So we're going to start look, by looking at some documents and uh, that are, that are going to demonstrate that fact to you and you're going to learn how to read the derivation codes for the uh, tax as well. So let's uh, turn to some documents now. Okay, we're starting here with the uh, title page of the 1939 Internal Revenue Code. And what I want you to see with this code uh, is the preamble in which it explains that the code, the 1939 Internal Revenue Code, is in fact a compilation of laws providing for internal revenue collections and application. And uh, the first of these began in, there it is folks, 1862. Okay, so it says it just as plain as day in the most appropriate place uh, that it could be said. Um, so just that by itself is enough to make the point, but we're going to go a, a, a bit further uh, because somehow this doesn't sink in with people and the myth of tax beginning in 1913 persists and deeply serves the interests of the ignorance tax scamsters. So let's look next at the actual origin of the tax. This is the 1862 Act in which the tax was initially laid on uh, what became defined as uh, wages in the uh, uh, context of the tax law, that specially defined term. Uh, this is the tax as laid on uh, the government officials, government employees, etc. Uh, and also in the same enactment, the tax laid on everybody else that engaged in uh, income related activities, income having a very uh, special meaning. Uh, because bear in mind this was a excise tax. It was and is an excise tax. Uh, we'll look at that a little further uh, in, a, in uh, at another time. So these are the initial enactments, 1862. That's where it all began folks. Okay now as you saw, the 1939 code makes clear that the 1862 enactments uh, are key components of the uh, tax. Uh, here we just saw the uh, initiating language for the income tax, uh, virtually identical to today's language, of course, because it is, in fact, the same tax. Uh, now, let's look at another document. This is the derivations of code sections of the Internal Revenue Codes of 1939 and 1954, produced by a Joint Committee on Taxation of the United States Congress. And this is a uh, document that provides uh, the derivation references for the tax code sections and the laws on which they are based. And the law, of course, is the actual enactment that uh, uh, imposed its authority. So we're going to look at this. This was produced in 1992. Uh, it, it, it describes the 1954 IRC, but that by that time, by the time of 1992, actually, that IRC had been redesignated as the Internal Revenue Code of 1986, as we will see shortly. So going forward with the derivation tables, what we see is these tables show the Internal Revenue Code section followed by or associated with the actual statutory enactment on which that section is based or from which it is derived. And so we're gonna, what we're going to look at these for is to demonstrate that even in the current code, 1939 having uh, simply been redesignated or, or re reenacted effectively, uh, recompiled as the code of 1954, which was then redesignated as the code of 1986, the law that this is all based upon and derived its authority, derives its authority from, uh, a great deal of it predates the 16th Amendment in 1913, and we're going to see that in a minute. What I've done is I've, I just took um, a, a chunk of the derivation tables sections and I highlighted each section 
that is based on a uh, law preceding 1913 and the 16th Amendment. So what you're going to look for here as we flash through these uh, next uh, 20 pages or so of documents is just the yellow and you will see a lot of it and every one of those yellow highlighted sections is a portion of current law, current tax law, tax code that is based on a pre-16th Amendment enactment. So let's look for some yellow. Seeing a lot of yellow here, aren't we folks? That's because an awful lot of the current tax is based explicitly, expressly, and directly on enactments passed by Congress prior to 1913 and prior to the 16th Amendment, making eminently clear that the income tax of today is by no means a tax that was initiated in 1913 with the 16th Amendment. It is, in fact, uh, a body of enactment that uh, long predates uh, uh, those periods and, the, and those events. Um, this also puts the lie, by the way, uh, if, we, if we look at a couple of specifics, I'm just going to pick a few off the whatever page this page will do. Uh, you see that this is 1896 enactment. Um, uh, what else do we have here? 1902, 1886. Um, and the reason I'm pointing these out is because one of the pervasive uh, bits of mythology uh, that the ignorance tax folks and also researchers who don't necessarily you know, have that particular agenda but nonetheless are, are poor researchers, they maintain that the income tax of 1862 was repealed in, in 1872. Uh, clearly this is not the case. Uh, these enactments uh, cover the entire period from 1862 up through uh, 1938, in fact, in terms of what uh, was compiled into the 1939 code. So, more yellow, more yellow, more yellow, more yellow, more yellow, more yellow, more yellow. Lots and lots of current law is uh, from enactments predating uh, the 16th Amendment in 1913. Again, just to emphasize the point of this little video, don't ever make the mistake again of imagining that the income tax of today began in 1913. It did not. It began in 1862. Now, this is the next section of that derivation table assembly that the Joint Task Force of Congress put together. This provides the information on the sources of the 1954 code, which are specifically derived from and refer back to the 1939 code. Uh, in, in 1954, things were given new numbers and, uh, and a lot of consolidation was done, but the authority that was derived in for the vast majority of the 1954 code was just directly rested on the 1939 enactment, uh, or the 1939 code, which itself was rested on these uh, 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 previous uh, actual statutes that we've been looking at a huge number of which predated the 16th Amendment. So the point of this next uh, section is just to make clear that the current code, what's known as the Code of 1986, is in fact exactly the same and uh, has the same basis as what we just looked at for the 1939 code. Um, this really isn't necessary to get into in great detail. You all know that there was no constitutional amendment at, in 1939 or since then having anything to do with the income tax. So Proving the case with the 1939 code really makes the point. But nonetheless, let's go through the rest of this exercise because the paperwork is here. So we see that the 1954 code is derived from the 1939 code, and we're going to skip ahead to the next section of this derivation table assemblage because uh, it does the same thing except that rather than uh, uh, providing the uh, references from the 1954 code to the 1939 code as the organizing principle for this part of the table. This one goes from the 1939 code to the 1954 code and the reason why we're going to go ahead to that uh, section is because we can then compare it to the same table, that 
comes out of, we're going to get to this in a second, the same table that comes out of the current 2001 version. And there is a there is a newer version of that, but this one's new enough to make the point of the uh, uh, Internal Revenue Code, Title 26, which has its own derivation table included. It's in what's called the preliminary materials, and, and here's where that derivation table runs, and it happens to correspond in its uh, layout with this third table of the 1992 derivation table assembly. So we're going to look at that, and I'm going to show you that, in fact, this is the same structure. You can see line by line what was shown as you know reference to the 1954 code here is in fact exactly the same thing for the 1986 code as of as published in 2001. Uh, so you can see line by line, line by line exactly the same and that remains true uh, for subsequent pages as we can see in the next following section, if you go far enough along, uh, you'll see that this is the case. Now, you don't have to uh, be pausing this video and looking at these things in detail. By the way, I'm going to give you a URL at the end of the at the end of the uh, film here that you can go to and download these documents directly and examine them uh, in detail and at your leisure. So, I also I wanted to uh, to show you this one thing as well. This is. Uh, the enactment uh, involving the redesignation of the Code of 1954 to the Code of 1986, just again, so that there's no um, misunderstanding about that point. So, that's all we need to look at right now in terms of documents. Now, I want everyone to go away from this uh, absolutely uh, resolved to never let anyone tell you again that the income tax began in 1913 or was initiated with the 16th Amendment or anything like that. Um, neither of those things are true. It's very, very, very important that it be uh, clear in everyone's mind that the whole country understand and have uh, the, be reminded or, or have brought back into their understanding that the tax actually began in 1862 because it makes a huge difference in people's ability to understand the actual nature of the tax. So don't ever let that be said. Uh, if anyone ever says it, you correct them. And what's more, uh, any researcher whose work you've ever seen that made that claim, they don't know what they're talking about. Their research is no good. Garbage in is garbage, produces garbage out. Just ignore anything you heard from that person in the future. Same thing with the nonsense about the tax being repealed in 1872 or anything else that is in conflict with the documented evidence that you just saw. Um, th these are the facts and, uh, and it is only resting on the facts that one can have an actual uh, clear and functional understanding of a subject. So uh, I'm going to give you a URL in just a moment that you can go to and, uh, and uh, download all of these documents and a great deal more as well, and, 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 and the, that page that I'm going to direct you to will also give you uh, an opportunity to get a, gain a complete understanding of the actual nature of the tax, which is very liberating information and, and, and what, uh, something you're going to very much want to know and want to share with your family, your friends, your acquaintances, um, everyone you're able to. So um, thanks for your attention, and uh, uh, we'll see you another time.